Hello, my name is Tanya, and in this video I would like to show you how to install virtual environment for Flask application and we will do this in PyCharm. Uh, to be honest, all this information you could find in Flask documentation, it's great documentation, so no problem here. I just show you because sometimes it's much easier to understand when you see it and if you are very new with PyCharm, uh, this video also will be useful for you. So, uh, first of all, you need to install a um, virtual environment uh, for your machine, local machine, I think. And uh, then we need uh, to initialize virtual environment in your application folder. So, here we are in our application folder and we just need to uh, write virtual n and folder for our virtual environment like here and actually this is it <laughs> so not a big deal and now uh, you will see here the folder with python and so on of course we need to exclude this folder from um, version control system like this uh, maybe like this and um, next, um, next to start working in this virtual environment, you need to activate this. Um, activate. And you see that we have here our virtual environment folder name. Uh, that means that we are in virtual environment. If you need to deactivate, you just write deactivate. And now uh, we could install our modules for Python. Now we are safe. Yes, uh, uh, I, I think I forgot to explain why we actually need virtual environment. Uh, but uh, the whole idea when you have uh, uh, more than one application that you are working for. In some application, you need uh, you need maybe Python two. In other application, you need Python three. In one application, you need uh, models with one version. In other, much older version, and so on. So to be safe to work, uh, you need to, you need to uh, separate a safe virtual environment. Uh, I think if you need more information, you just go Google it. So um, we have here our requirements txt list with uh, very basic modules for uh, Flask. And we are going to install all this um, using pipe, like so, pipe install from our requirements txt. Uh, and now, if you need to add some other modules, you need to do this uh, in activated virtual environment. Because uh, in this case, uh, you will see, uh, you, you need to install all your modules on, only in this folder. Uh, like so. Um, what, uh, what else? Uh, next, uh, we, we need to we need to say our part time our by uh, charm to use this virtual environment so we need to go to our settings to project interpreter and here um, here in this list you will find this virtual environment by this path for me is project flask uh, application prototype vnf and uh, we need to associate this virtual environment with current project Okay, okay. Here you could see that uh, we have all these modules from this requirements txt list already installed. And now uh, we need to edit configuration and uh, we have here our standalone file, standalone uh, file just content uh, for now hello world, simple application. And here we have pass to this folder, and here we have already a uh, write Python interpreter. So with using our virtual environment. 
OK, let's run it. You can see that we have here also right path. OK, <laughs> it works and it works fine. So it again, it was very easy uh, just for very new uh, programmers in Flask and in, and in PyCharm. Um, so have a nice day.